We are back. I'm going to be showing some uh, fake news of this Lincoln Con no, I'm kidding. That's not fake news. It's the Lincoln Continental. Have you seen, speaking with you while we're looking, Melania Trump shunning Trump? It's like become their thing. It's like Dynasty. Don't I'm watching. Touch me. Yes, don't touch me. Don't touch me. And there's like a horse jumping over the fucking gable fence and shit. You know, that's what she's really thinking. Of the king. That's happy times for I know, that's, that's happy times for Melania. You it's know? I, but you know, <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it. Here's totally thing. Dynasty. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You might like that. Sure. You know, you're right. Look, it's the I've, drink I've, in the face I've thing. I've admitted, I, exactly. It's, it's the, the drink, drink in the, the face, face thing. thing. Huh, look at this. I'm going to show you that I touched the pussy. Yeah, that's submitted. That's it's basically the is. The thing, yeah. He's the kind of guy who goes around. You know, we know you had sex, but he makes you smell his fingers. Hey, you want to smell my finger? <laughs> you wish in your head. Ow. It's a big lumbering beast, but <laughs> pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed the corn really has good taste in cars. It's not like he pops out and he really likes the smart car or the or the fucking meaning like where I say e. That's kinda or that that Whatever thing, Scorpion, what is that fucking small ass, Ibiza or Ibiza, what is that shit? Mm -hmm. What's that, it's a, uh, what's that brand, Fiat? No, it's not Fiat, it's, um. Ar the Arbath. Yes, Arbath. Fiat, Arbath. Fiat, yeah, Fiat, it's the, like that, you don't like those cars. I mean, which I'm glad because that's kind of a different realm. Well, I mean, look, Are you Ar Arbath, has its, uh, Arbath has its, you know cachet with certain people. I've owned Fiat's. I know what they're like. I think the Pina Farini bodies on some of those Fiat's are beautiful. Um, We're talking but, older. But, yes, but overall, Fiat makes crap. Okay? <laughs> I mean... Since the beginning? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, this isn't performance stuff. This no. is just, you know, cheap transportation. I had... I, Rented a Fiat in um, in Iceland. I had a Fiat there, and I, I put a ton of miles on that thing. Did you floor it any bit? Yeah, yeah, it's a joke. I mean, uh, my wife's old uh, Hyundai XL had better acceleration. Oh my god, that's a throwback. Yeah, you know, and that was a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are years. But you know, the the thing is that it was very efficient. What came after that car, by the way? Uh, after that one. BMW? That was the BMW, the 5 Series. And he we had that car for a forever. long time. We would still have it if she didn't get pissed off that I take off the front seat. You could have put it from the front seat. No, know? I liked it with one front seat. Yeah, I remember we used to sit backwards in that thing. But you had that forever. Then came the Mercedes, right? Mm -hmm. And then, do you think she'll have a new car anytime soon? Or is she going to keep that? We've already made a decision we're not going to dump any more money in the Mercedes. So, whatever happens to it, happens to it. When we go to replace it, it'll be replaced by a hybrid or an electric car. Any particular? What's that thing, Tesla? The going door thing? No, I would like to get either something like a Lexus uh, ES300H. Which is just the uh, the Toyota Avalon as a as a Lexus. That's right. Sedan. Yeah. Hybrid. Hybrid. Forty miles to the gallon. Really? Mm How's -hmm. the power? Some of those they have good power, right? Is yeah, that one of those it'll, it'll have it has okay acceleration. It's not a fucking Ferrari, but I don't need a Ferrari. Some of those cars I'm. Saying the electric ones have some get up in that, you know, because right. it's an electric motor. That's my point. It's, it's, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not in. They had a, you know, the corn. You've had I mean, the fish cars. drives a fucking on the fit. Yeah. It it's fun in certain ways, you know, if you know how to do is do it. I've, 
But you've had hot cars. Yeah. I've had hot they're cars. They're all fun. It's, yeah, they're, they're fun. They're all fun. You can find something you like in every car. I mean, it, the thing is, you know, there, there are people that look at their car as kind of like an accessory. Yes. And so if it doesn't fit the self-image that they have of themselves, then they, they won't be caught dead driving it. My, my uh, brother-in-law would never drive my truck as a daily driver. Uh, the wife side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me guess what kind of drive. Subaru? No. What's he drive? Porsche Panamera. Oh, yes. <laughs> that speaks volume. Oh, the sous vide fits in the back seat. And, and, and what did he have yeah. before that? An Audi A8? Yeah, this guy has a sous vide that you can control with your fucking iPhone. Yeah, corn over there. You should have some of that. No, he's okay. I mean, look, I got no. I know. Him, I have cousins like he's that. He's ridiculous in some ways, you know. <laughs> I mean, you've seen my truck, dude. Come on. Yeah. It looks like something out of fucking Mad Max. Okay. <laughs> it's a ni- it's a nice truck. Well, as trucks go. Dude. Yeah, I think of a truck the thing as, is, it's nice that if it has paint, I mean... <laughs> but it doesn't, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm getting Lots at. Lots of chunks of it are just fucking, you know, Yeah, orange, but it's uh, a work rust. truck. You don't mind throwing shit at this. No, Sometimes you need that fucking kind of vehicle. Plus, it's a 10-cylinder, you know, monster. Yeah, sometimes, you know, because the, the fish here... Is doing construction on the house and the Honda Fit. My God, you can only do like maybe four bags of cement. I had to borrow the the ridge line, and even then you had to watch how much concrete you carry. But your truck, mine is literally a one ton truck. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a nice truck to me. No, oh, I love it. That's why I'm not getting rid of it. But it is ugly as sin. And the. Next car that you want, you think there'll be ever a fun car in your life? I don't know about me. I don't know if I want a fun car anymore. I That's mean, what I'm talking I, about. I, I think I, I want a fun vehicle. I don't think it necessarily has to be a, a car. sports car. Well, see, that's the thing. I really am kind of fixated on some of these little three-wheeled things that I've seen around. Exactly. The, the, yeah, we talk about the boomerang. It's really awesome. Uh, Imagine getting one of those like 10 electric. years old. Electric. Yeah. I don't see why those vehicles are still gas driven. It's got to be something electric. And with the batteries days, the lithiums. Mm-hmm. By the way, speaking of batteries, this kind of got me on a, th- a thought here. DJI Corn is coming out with something on the 24th of this month. That's in two days, right? Yeah. Big announcement. I hope it's like with like a tiny ashtray sized. Drone that retails for like the usual price of a thousand bucks. You no longer have to register your. I was going to tell you about that. Uh, what happened when I was reading this article is belonged to a drone thing. A lot of people, am I going to get my fucking money back? Because some people spunk, spunk some, you know, ducats on that register. For, com- <laughs> for complying with stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> Never comply with the government until everything's done. It's crazy. Crazy. So yeah, DJI, that's in the news. The registration for you drone people that we have, I'm sure these, you know, are 24 um, subscribers. Subscribers are these um, drone people. Drone people. Yeah, they'd watch it. I mean, the show is good. Oh, they got nothing else going on. The losers. <laughs> I was checking some old video corn, and I, and I got this notification. You know, I just, I don't check it all the time, the notification, but I started notification, so, so I went back to the video it was coming from. Three weeks ago, we had a notification saying, dude, you got show rocks. It's the best thing on YouTube. Keep it up. So. <laughs> it's hilarious. So we do have someone out there in the universe. That enjoys our shit. Yeah, two people actually, because remember it was those people from... Oh, yeah, that couple from Sunset. Sunset yeah. From Montana. So, anyways. Um, no, but, I mean... I don't know, dude. Oh, shit. What are we talking about, Corn? 
<laughs> no idea. We're talking about cars or something. Oh yeah, cars. Fun cars. Yeah. Oh yeah, fun cars. Oh, I showed you the picture of that one car that I uh, that I saw in uh, in Paris, right? Yes. Oh, that was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, I you want did something the, like that here. And you know, coming back to those kind of vehicles, what about that? How much is a Unimog? You said they're like 80K? Yeah. What would you rather have? 80K on that or a Porsche? See, we're talking like, whoa, I could go this way or that way. See, that's the thing. You don't have to spend that much money on a Porsche. But I'm just saying, if it's. My brother in law, to... total, I think he spent about. Once you cut, count in the trade-in value on his old car, about $27,000, $23,000 total. Really? But you can see the thing. The fish don't have then that. What's his name? Uh, what do you call it? Um, the original box turtle? Yes. He bought his Porsche for fifteen. It's a nice Porsche. It's a nice Porsche. Well, I guess, yeah, you don't have to have those twin turbo yeah, kind of shit. You don't, need, you don't need a ton of money to have fun with that. Well, how much can you get a Unimog for? Still 80K. You're still like, talking 80K. That's, you know, unless you want a 1950-something version where you're constantly looking for spare parts and constantly working on it. What if you put the new innards inside that? Then, then you're still spending a ton of money. It's still going to be the same price? You're, you're still in that range. Okay, I'm just wondering if you can just do a if build. If you're going to spend that kind of money on a build, I've already got the perfect platform for a build, okay? What is it? That The, the Lexus slash Land Cruiser thing. Really? Yeah. Just I mean, as big can, as a Unimog? No. I mean, interior-wise, it's just as big. It's a two-seater as a Unimog, right? It is a two-seater. Yes. Well, no. Well, in its the, natural the Unimog state. is just a... It's just a truck thing. Yeah. They make them in ambulance comfort and yeah, configurations you're right. and truck configurations and you know vans and campers and all this other bullshit. Yeah, plumbers trucks. Yeah. Box trucks. Oh, we're at twelve minutes, dude. We'll take a break here. So whatever you need to do, go buy something on Amazon. Go stroke one out. That's right, Stroker Ace. That was the number one of our episodes. Go watch Stroker Ace, you know? Learn something. When was the last time you saw that movie? <laughs> Dude, years. <laughs> we've talked a lot about movies on this show. You know, Stroker Ace. We've talked about Captain Harlock movies. <laughs> Sasha Gray. Sasha. Oh, my God. Jodie Arias. Man, we had so many eras. <laughs> we wear it back. 